Hey. Happy Friday, everybody. I didn't look up what tomorrow is on the calendar of events like National Best Friends Day. I'm sorry, I forgot. Basically what I'm gonna do right now, see all that mess back there? Yeah. I'm not gonna uh, try to clean it. No. What? No. I'm gonna take this printer right there and I'm gonna see if I can get it to work with the ink that I have in it. The color ink cartridge is fairly new, but the black is stand back. It's low, it's not out, it's low. The light is on. But from what I read and from, I lied, from what I watched on YouTube, there's hacks. And I'm gonna try to hack it like Buddy. Buddy hack it. You're too young. So once I get it, first I gotta see if it'll, this computer will even recognize it, for one. Two, if it does, and the black ink hack doesn't work, then I'm gonna have to go in, re-edit, so that I can just use blue and purples and that color to uh, print the photo as dark as possible. And it may turn out to be inspirational in a way that I do the painting. See, this is how things happen, you know what I mean? I have one vision in my head, but due to circumstances out of my control, it may take it somewhere else and it may be better than originally planned. You understand? I posted a picture on Instagram saying art is all around us and it is. And I've, I've always known this, I've always thought this, I've always seen art in things that most people didn't or some people do, some people, I don't, I, who am I to judge what people perceive as art? I believe art is art, regardless of, you think it's not, you know, like you see someone that you're like, what a hack. No, 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 whatever they put on canvas or sculpted or whatever, that is art. It is. But some art is unintentional, and example, right now, will be what a picture, I posted a picture of this uh, a couple days ago maybe on Instagram. If you wanna go to my Instagram, I'll link it in the description. And uh, if you wanna follow me, please do. Um, you may already, and I love you for it. But I was sitting here and I was contemplating the universe maybe, my own humanity, my own, I was just in, lost in thought. And I looked up I would say kind of in distress, but long story short, I looked up and I saw art and it inspired me. It was what I needed. The journey I was looking for, I found it without going anywhere. This is a piece of plywood like this, but much older and much more weathered. The white lines that you see on there are lines made when we painted or somebody painted the baseboards or the trim or the crown molding that we have inside the house and they used that board as a you know a, a tarp in a sense so the paint wouldn't be all over the floor all over the driveway all over the concrete all over the carpet whatever the tile it, whatever it was the base of the painting of the wood. I'm gonna take it down from there. That's the second level, obviously. I'm gonna take that piece of board down and I'm gonna hang it on one of these walls because it's beautiful. It's beautiful that it's so simple and it's, it happened by accident and it's the, everything is, it's, the, the the balance of it so what I but what I could see is perfect dimensions of the stripes and the little splatters and the little drops of everything's kind of Jackson Pollock ish in a way you know um, abstract yet planned but unplanned 
Does that make sense? I'm not an art historian. I, I know very little about major artists, but I know when I see something that I think is art. And I think this is gonna be very cool once I pull it down and show you guys full on. But I'm not doing it today. Maybe I will later, I don't know. But at first, I gotta get this printer working. But um, I'll post a, a better picture of it and I'll put it right here. Huh? See? Once I get it down, you're really gonna appreciate what I'm talking about. And maybe you can take take in your surroundings a little bit more and see if there's art around you, you know? I don't make sense a lot of the times. I know what I'm trying to say, I just don't know how to say it. Now let's get to work. I've been trying to work on doing something new, so I've been doing this. Something incredible just happened, something crazy, something nuts and so fast I couldn't even, I didn't have an opportunity to record it. Apparently a couple hours ago or something like this, uh, not too long ago, a bank was robbed, not too far from here. And there was three suspects and they ditched the getaway car in our neighborhood. At the end of this street we live on, we live on one end, at the other end of the street they ditched it where they come together like this. And two suspects got away, still looking for one. Um, police officers were knocking at the front door. We had been hearing helicopters, 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 and I, I was seeing in this alley behind us, there was officers up and down, and they were even got out, and they you know, had some conversation over here, and I didn't think, because I was trying to get that printer to work, to try to, you know, even record it. Plus, you know, who knows if I was getting in trouble for recording officers having a conversation on the side of the road. I don't know. I don't know the rules. So anyway, I'm back to doing my thing. I got the printer to work. Then I get a phone call from my mom inside the house saying that there's officers at the front door. They need to get in the backyard. And I'm like, okay, well, I got to get the dogs inside. They're, you know, I don't want the dogs to, for whatever reason, get shot because that's what people do sometimes. So, <laughs> officers are forced to, you know, euthanize, if you will, an animal because they feel it's a threat. So I was freaking out, I'm nervous. I'm like, oh, my dog's my dog's. But still, I didn't, I don't know this. there's a bank robbery thing going on at all. I'm just like, okay, what the heck's going on? My main concern is get the dogs in the house. I know I haven't done anything wrong, so no big deal on that end. I run out front, talk to the officers, explain, let me get the dogs in, I gotta unlock the gate, I'll be right there, give me a, just give me a minute. Get back here, some of the dogs have never been inside and they're not used to going inside, so the boys especially, Max and Popeye, they weren't, they were like, what are you talking about? I mean, inside, what's in there? What's going on in there? No, 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 they thought they were gonna get shots or something. I get them inside. I tell the officers from around the house, hey, I'm coming, I'm getting the key. I get the key, I run over there. They have their canine unit. Man, he is beautiful, beautiful German Shepherd. Guys, stop. They're trying to show off now because that German Shepherd, they were watching him through the door. Those little, these jealous. You see, now you have something to strive for in your life. Maybe you can be a canine unit. Right now, y'all are just G unit. Goofball unit is what I meant. About four or five officers come back with the canine. Beautiful dog. They go in there, they look around. I guess they're looking for that suspect, but I don't know what they're looking for, honestly, at this point. I know now, but um, they even take away my little barricades and they go upstairs and, and uh, or yell up. They, something had, they go, they move the barricade so that uh, they could see if anybody was upstairs. Nobody was, of course. They come down, they look around the rest of the yard, around the backside over here and over there, and everything was okie dokie, so they left. But uh, I was still tripping, like, they didn't tell us anything. It took me having to go online and look it up because there was nothing on the news already at this point. So, exciting! And, of course, because I have one way of recording things, 
I couldn't record it in time because I left the phone in the air. It was still sitting on the desk. On the, you know, I was like, I wasn't prepared. If I would, if I had known that they was gonna rob a bank, I would have been over there recording that. But I have no knowledge of it. So all I have is a story. No, no actual video footage or anything. It would have been great to leave the camera on while I wasn't in there and they went in there. See what was said, what they thought about my art hanging on the wall. Shut up. All right. I'm going to, this is a long video now because I just put this in here. So I'm going to say goodbye. Have a wonderful day. Talk to you tomorrow. Um, see what we can get done. All right. Have a great day, everybody. Talk to you later. Bye. Thank you.